Today I'm gonna to show you a few simple steps that will make any photograph or YouTube thumbnail that you're working with come to life and pop, and it's really easy to use. And to do this, we're gonna use the Snapseed app, which is totally free, there are no ads, and it's available on both Android and iOS devices. And if you don't yet have this on your phone, you need to put this on your phone. For the tutorial that I'm gonna to do today, it is gonna be a basic entry-level tutorial if you're not that experienced with Snapseed or you're not quite sure what to do with it. The first image that we're gonna to edit today is gonna to be a photograph of a woman, and the second image that we're gonna work with is a photograph of food, but it doesn't matter what sort of image that you have, what I'm gonna show you today applies to everything. And gamers, this applies to you too. You can take screenshots of your gameplay, walk through the steps that I'm about to show you, and make your images look a lot better. And this is the sort of thing that you wanna do when you're using your gameplay images for your thumbnails. So let me open up Snapseed and show you how this is done. So when you open up the Snapseed app, you wanna choose a photo out of your gallery to work with. The first photo we're gonna work on is a portrait of a woman. So I'm gonna tap on that and she's gonna open up. Down here on the very bottom, you're gonna see looks, tools, and export. We're gonna tap on tools and it's gonna load up a bunch of tools here. The first tool that we wanna work with in this tutorial is on the top left and it's called Tune Image. You wanna tap on that. Now as you push your finger on the screen and move it up or down, a menu is gonna pop up. You're gonna see brightness, contrast, saturation, ambience, highlights, shadows, and warmth. This is the main thing, this is the juice that's gonna make your photo come to life. So the first thing that I'm gonna do for this particular image, because it looks a little cold and it doesn't really pop, is I'm gonna change the brightness and I'm gonna go into ambience and I'm gonna add some saturation and warmth. Now to add these, once you select one, you simply move your finger to the left or to the right. And as you see here on the top, the brightness numbers are changing. So I'm gonna add just a little bit of brightness I'm gonna press down and go to the next one, which is saturation. I'm gonna to move to the right, give it just a little bit of saturation. I'm gonna hold down again, go to the next one, which is ambience. I'm gonna to go to the right again, add some ambience. I'm gonna push down again. I'm gonna go down to warmth, go to the right. Now you see what's happening here as I change these. It's adding a lot of color to the image. So I'm just gonna play with these a little bit until I find a look that I like. Now, at any time along the way, if you're curious where you've started and where you're at now, on the top right, you can tap on this little icon here and it's gonna show you where you started. So this is where we started and this is where we are now. You can see the image comes to life quite a bit. So I'm happy with this and on the bottom right hand side, I'm gonna tap on the check mark to save it. Now I'm gonna go back down to tools and I'm gonna go down and find the portrait icon. I'm gonna tap on that Right away, it's gonna analyze the photo. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna add some smoothness to the skin and some whites to the eyes. So if I use two fingers to zoom in and then I go to the top right to see what it looked like before and after, this is before and this is after. You can see what it's doing to the face. It's really bringing some clarity to the face and some whites to the eyes. It's smoothing the skin quite a bit and I like the way this looks. Now, if you wanna adjust this, you're gonna go down to the bottom center to the levels you're gonna tap on that and you can adjust any of this. So if you want more whiteness to the eyes, you can simply go to the left or to the right. If you wanna smooth the skin out more, you choose that and go to the left or to the right. Now I'm gonna zoom back out using two fingers and I'm gonna to go to the top right again to see where we started. And you see what it's doing? It's putting a focus on her face and lighting it up and putting whiteness to the eyes and I like this a lot. Now after each tool adjustment is saved, you can tap and hold on the image and it's gonna show you where you started and where you are now. And you can see this is a drastic difference. And you can see the color that it's adding and it looks a lot better. The blues are coming out. And this is the sort of thing that you wanna do with your pictures. And it doesn't matter if you're on Instagram or sending these out on Facebook or using them as a YouTube thumbnail. If you wanna add life to your photos and really make them pop, this is how you do it. Now, I'm happy with this, but I'm gonna play with it just a little bit more. I'm gonna go back down to tools and I'm gonna scroll down to vignette. I'm gonna tap on that and it's gonna add a little bit of vignette around the edges. The first thing I'm gonna do is come down to the inner brightness, and I'm gonna brighten up the center just a little bit. Then I'm gonna tap and hold, and I'm gonna go to outer brightness, and I don't want such a heavy vignette, so I'm gonna back it off just a little bit, and then I'm gonna save it. Right, you can see this is quite a difference. This really makes the photo come to life. So I'm happy with this, and this is as far as we're gonna go on this first tutorial. We'll get into more advanced things a little bit later, but for this, I just wanna walk you through the basics. So we wanna save this image by going to the bottom and tapping on export. And here you'll get some options on how you wanna save it. For this particular photo, I wanna save a copy of the photo. So I'm gonna tap on that, 
It's gonna run through all the filters, then it's gonna tell you that the photo is saved, and then you can go on and use the photo anywhere you want. Now, before I move on to the next image, I wanna hear what you think about Snapseed or what your favorite photo editor is. Do you use Snapseed? Do you use PixArt? What do you use? Go down, leave a comment below. I read every single question and comment and I reply to as many of them as possible. And when this video is over, I'm gonna go down there and carry on this conversation and find out what your favorite photo editing apps are. Now, let's move on to the next image. Now for the food photo, we're gonna walk through the same process, but I'm gonna show you how to highlight certain colors to add some more color to those individual colors. And boy, I just love Indian food. I'm just gonna tell you that right now. So I'm gonna go back to tools down here in the bottom. I'm gonna to go to tune image. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little brightness. I'm gonna come down, I'm gonna add some saturation. I'm gonna add some ambience. Look at that right there, just ambience by itself. I mean, look at what that does to colors. This is the sort of thing that you wanna do, especially with your YouTube thumbnails. So I'm gonna add a little bit of ambience. I might add some warmth. Then I'm gonna go down to the bottom right and I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna to go to tools. Then I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna find the selective tool, which is right here. I'm gonna tap on that. And the way this works is anywhere I tap, it's gonna drop an anchor. So I'm gonna use two fingers and zoom in and I'm gonna drop an anchor right here on this red area. So you see it's B. What that means is that's brightness. So if I tap and hold and move my finger, I can change the brightness, contrast, saturation, or the structure. I'm gonna change the saturation of this red area. So that point is dropped and I'm just gonna simply move my finger to the right and you see the red is changing. If I move it to the left, it goes the other way. So I'm gonna crank this up because I want this red to pop. Now that this anchor is set and the saturation is there, I'm gonna hit the check mark and save it. I'm gonna zoom out a bit and I'm gonna move it around. I'm gonna change the color of this. So I'm gonna go back, selective. I'm gonna drop that right there. Go back to saturation. I'm gonna crank that up and save it. And then I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna crank up the greens on the broccoli. I'm gonna go back, selective, drop that right on a green. I'm gonna come in and change the saturation again. And that's gonna change all of the greens that match the color of the greens that I've selected with this anchor. Look at that, before, and after, you see how these colors are starting to pop? It looks great, doesn't it? So I'm gonna do another thing here. I'm gonna zoom in to one of the greens here in the corner. I'm gonna do another selective. I'm gonna tap on that. Back to saturation again. I'm gonna add some color, just a little bit. And I'm gonna save that. So each thing that I'm doing, it's selectively adding more color to the image. Now I look, I love how this looks. I think this looks fantastic. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna go down to export and I'm gonna save it. So it's really that easy with just those few basic steps to really make your photos come to life. But there's something that I want you to keep in mind. I used a lot of saturation in these images and a lot of ambience, but it's really easy to go too far. The last thing you want people to do is say, oh, that picture's been Photoshopped, because that's what they're gonna say. They're not gonna say it's been snap seeded because nobody's saying that. Are we saying that? Is anybody saying snap seeded? No? And I know you've all come across those pictures that they just looked bizarre and they looked fake. So don't overdo it with the saturation and ambience. You want it to look real. You want it to look alive. You want it to look eye-catching. You just don't want to cross that line. So use those sparingly. Now this was a very basic and entry-level tutorial. If you want to get into more intermediate things or more advanced things, be sure to leave a comment down below and let me know. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. If this is your first time here and you want to learn how to master your mobile, make better content on your phone or be a mobile YouTuber, be sure to hit that subscribe button followed by the notification bell so you don't miss out on anything. And I'll see you in the next video.